I think part of raising the consciousness of the planet is infusing a higher kind of consciousness in our science, in our technology, in our businesses, in our industries, in political systems, economic systems, systems of governance. And together that helps to raise the consciousness of the planet. And what do I mean by that? Um, I see this as a, as a sort of a fifth industrial revolution where in the fourth industrial revolution, you know, you had the age of digitization and AI and great leaps and bounds were, were made in, in, in terms of the progress. And in a sense, it is the age of materialism and what has been going on for the last 500 years taken to its logical next step. And I feel like building on all those revolutions, there's a new revolution in the making. And that's the revolution where we understand this phenomena of consciousness as a part of the fabric of the cosmos. And the def definitions might be refined to reconcile better with hardcore physics, but for lack of a better word, we'll use the word consciousness or information. As these things are brought into um, reconciliation, with our understanding of physics and life and living systems and this thing called consciousness. Our worldview as a human race will start to shift when we start to see um, a, we start to become more aware of how interconnected things are. We are to each other and to the universe around us. And that awareness in itself will lead to individuals, in my opinion, working in greater harmony with each other and with nature. And if you go back to some of the Eastern philosophical principles and Vedanta and Upanishads, they're basically saying the same thing, that when somebody pursues a higher sense of enlightenment or awareness, they start to live in harmony with each other, with other sentient beings, and also with the laws of nature.